Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the differences among different type of uh, avalanche transit time devices, trap pad, impact and uh, something like a barrett or gun diode. So now, what do you mean by avalanche transit time device? In the last class I have already given you what do you mean by avalanche transit time device and what are the different types of components that are following this type of avalanche transit time device. Later, I have also explained the devices uh, impact, trap at, bear it one by one. Okay, so avalanche transit time devices, ATT devices. What do you mean by ATT devices? They work under reverse bias recondition. So beyond the breakdown voltage. So devices need to be operated beyond devices need to be operated beyond breakdown voltage beyond breakdown voltage so what happens at this time maximum amount of current will flow maximum current flows maximum current flows so uh, why this maximum current flows it is due to it is due to multiplication of multiplication of charge carriers multiplication of charge carriers okay this is what the avalanche transit time device so avalanche transit time devices produces a high amount of current beyond the breakdown voltage that is due to the high amount of current is due to multiplication of charge carriers that means one becomes two becomes four becomes eight like that every time the charge is getting double the charge carrier is getting double and produces the maximum amount of current okay and another advantage when compared to the normal devices normal diodes and this avalanche transit time devices even after the breakdown conditions again we can operate it normally we can get back the original status of the diode as it is okay that means it will not burn off it will not burn off okay suppose in normal pn junction diodes they will be burnt immediately when we cross this when we operate beyond the uh, breakdown voltage Okay, that is due to the doping concentration in the avalanche transit time devices all the devices are made up of compound semiconducting materials all the devices are made up of compound semiconducting materials because of that it is having a capability for higher powers okay so it has high power high power handling high power handling capacity okay so now these are the avalanche transit time devices now let us see what are the just uh, uh, differences between the trap pad and impact diode okay so various types of devices various types of ATT devices avalanche transit time devices first one impact 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 ionization avalanche transit time device and second drop at third one is barrett okay so these are the three devices or three diode we can call them as diode three diodes that are working beyond the breakdown voltage okay if you have any doubt how they work in the normal forward bias condition for normal forward bias condition they simply works like your they simply work like your pn junction diode how a pn junction diode works normally as voltage increases current increases that slowly linearly occurs but in the reverse bias condition they are complete their characteristics are completely different when compared to the normal standard um, diagrams okay so now let us see the differences between the stop at diode and impact diode. So difference 
differences between drop at and impact differences between drop at and impact diodes so first one trans uh, trap at diode first one drop at diode We'll see impact diode here. Impact diode. Okay. So in the trap at diode, transit time is low. Transit time is low. Transit time is low. In this first one is transit time is more transit time is more second one operating frequency operating frequency 1 to 10 gigahertz operating frequency is 1 to 10 gigahertz and here higher operating frequencies are obtained higher operating frequencies are obtained and third one higher efficiency <coughs> higher efficiency but here it is lower efficiency efficiency is more in drop at diode and when compared to impact diode and power dissipation is also low in fact that is the reason why it may be efficient so power dissipation is low here power dissipation is power dissipation is high power dissipation is high in the case of impact diode so they are more sensitive to they are more sensitive to harmonics nothing but noise is more in the drop at diode and whereas they are less sensitive to harmonics they are less sensitive to harmonics okay so power output power output is 100 watts for this drop at diode whereas the power for this one is we can say here this power 100 watts power as a pulsed power okay but whereas in the impact diode the power output is 1 watt per carrier continuous wave and 400 watts for the pulsed wave okay and the materials used materials used for the making of materials used for the making of this drop at this drop at diode is uh, what are the different types of materials are silicon and 
germanium single that means single type of uh, uh, semiconductors instead of compound semiconductors but whereas here the materials are gallium arsenide indium phosphate or sometimes it may be silicon and germanium also okay so that depends upon the uses and depends upon the frequency of uses and high power handling capability okay if you want to make this as a high power handling capability device then you have to go for the compound semiconductors otherwise a normal a single semiconductor is sufficient size of these devices are same size is small here size is also small okay and the structure of this one structure consists of structure consists of p plus n p uh, n n plus or n plus p p plus and here it is structure consists of p plus uh, sorry n plus p i and p plus n plus p i and p plus so these are the various uh, differences when we compare to when we compared this drop pattern impact diodes okay thank you